all right gonna do a video on this um amp i picked up uh don't know if i got this at the last swap or a local trade i've been doing i've been doing some local trade and buying from a guy that's got a lot that um been selling out so got a bunch of amps and i don't remember what i got from where but anyway um i went through this uh little four tube uh six gk6 that little tube is um similar to a 6BQ5 I think they might even use the 6GK6 in Brownings and um, they also use it in JB12s so I really wanted this little 4 tuber here uh, with the 4 6GK6s because I thought it might be set up as a modulator uh, like a JB12 uh, the 6GK6 6 6BQ5s are tetrodes and versus a triode and they have a um, extra grid or extra booster element in there um, and what that does if you use that booster element as a uh, tetrode then um, it'll give you a lot more gain with a lot less drive um, the other way is to use it as a triode or, or grounded grid and you don't uh, use that booster element or some tubes like a 3500Z or other triodes 811. They don't even have that booster element in it. Hence that they need uh, more drive to and don't have the swing that a uh, tetrode would. But anyway, this amp, i come to find out, is set up as grounded grid. It's not using that... Um, extra grid or screen um, I call it like a turbo boosters it's not using that so hence it, it doesn't have a lot of swing in it because of the way it's set up so anyway it's got the four uh, six GK sixes basic uh, plate and load on the front plate plate would be tuned and uh, on off switch and standby switch on the back just your fuse it's got an AM SSB switch but nothing's hooked to it so I guess whoever had this used it for AM only and then that's the inside not real pretty but you know uh, I guess not terribly built um, I recapped it it has some old uh, beat up caps in there so I recapped it there um, it didn't have any bleeder resistors at all, and uh, I don't like working on amps without bleeder resistors. So I put some bleeders in there, uh, some light bleeders, doesn't have to be heavy, just give it a minute and it'll discharge once you unplug it. And change the other caps in there. Um, it does have a little bit of negative bias, and that's what those two caps standing up there go to. And um, no, actually that black cap there goes to the negative bias and then those two caps go to the low voltage like to run the relay which that transistor above it does it's um, transistor operated relay um, and then that's the bottom with the uh, tank circuit or tank coil there um, your plate chokes it uses two of them there it's got parasitic suppressors which is a good thing um, one thing I don't like about this amp is it does not have a tuned input input comes in you know actually right there and uh, goes to the relay and then when the relay closes it goes right out that big yellow cap to the tube it's nothing to tune or adjust no coil no nothing and another thing I don't like about this amp is um, it uses the input to ground the tubes in operation and instead of using the uh, relay um, to do that to, to turn the amp on when you key down um, or turn the voltage on to the tubes would be a better way to put it um, it uses the input side of the relay to do that so when you key down see that choke there I'm, um, I'm pointed at let me see if I can zoom in I'm not a camera expert there we go but that choke there is connected right to the uh, input uh, side of the coax and what that does is um, when you key the relay again here when you key down and that relay keys in 
that input which goes to the input side of the tube it also grounds the tube so it will um, um, let the power flow through on the tube and when it's not keyed down the um, power has nowhere to go so the tubes are uh, just running at idle you know basically just the filaments it's, it's not drawing any high voltage of power because it doesn't have that ground I mean that works but the problem is that messes up your input SWRs having that uh, choke connected to the uh, coax at all times even when you're not keyed down or just you know with the amp off or on standby so I don't like that and it's interesting to me because those two center taps of the relay are not used as you see you got the um, input side right there and you got the output side up there and then you got a third set of contacts right there in the middle not used so if you uh, wanted to improve the design you can move that choke that goes to ground when you key down over to the um, to the relay and that would help with the input SWR a little bit um, along with putting in um, uh, input SWR circuit or, or input tuning circuit I guess is a better way to put it. It's early for me and it's on a Sunday the weekend so you gotta excuse me. So that's pretty much the design of this amp. Not terrible but you know not great again and I wish it was a Swinger Tetro amp but anyway I'm gonna turn it over lay the camera down and carefully turn it over it's not turned on or plugged in right now and uh, we're gonna turn it on and fire it up I think that yellow light is lit yep but you can barely see it because I got so much lighting here um, because tram doctors getting old I can't see that well so we got a lot of lights going on um, by the way speaking of lights you know they sell this like 10,000 uh, wow it's blurring it out it's so bright 10,000 LED um, light you know at, at um, online and, and, and HQ and all that where I got this 30,000 um, um, lumen one from Home Depot and that sucker is bright it's actually blurring out the camera is so bright I like that that little 30,000 lumen LED um, light that sucker lights up this room uh, like no other by the way okay hopefully we're warmed up um, up means it's in standby it's turning the standby on and down means it's, it's turning the standby off or operate that's a interesting interesting way to do that but um I guess we'll put it on standby and show you what it's doing with just the radio go to the 20 watt scale here so we're keying a little under 30 under 3 I'm sorry under 4 like I say it's early for me on a Sunday audio 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 and swinging about 13 watts that's my little barefoot unmodified trusty Motorola over there on a dummy load got a big uh like about 7,000 watt dummy load up there on top that we go into and here we use this little digital meter to um, show the um, watts going in and the uh, input SWR and right now the um, amp is not keyed up and we do have a flat match even with that um, um, input choke right now but Let's turn it on, go to 200 watt scale, and go to average. This meter again is calibrated to a bird meter. I like it because it's big. We are on the 200 watt scale. Keying about 45 audio and almost standing still talking on average. <whistles> Whistling to barely 50. So hardly any swing at all with this amp. Like I say, it's grounded grid instead of tetrode and here it is on the amp itself got the little mod light <laughs> you can barely see it with all the lights I got going on and over here to the right of that meter is the input SWR with the amp on like 8, 9 to 1 
like I say, I wish it had uh, input tuning, but it don't, and I'm not going to mess with it. Nice little 45 watts average, and we're going to put it on peak. Last thing. Audio. Audio. About 75, 80 watts peak. Audio. So that's about all this little uh, uh, 426 GK6 does. Guess I'm going to turn it off and put the cover on just to show what it looks like with the cover on this thing. And that'll be it for this video. Not bad looking, you know, with the cover on. And when I saw that. Um, four little tubes in there I'm like oh man that ought to be a good modulator but nope not a modulator set up just to be a grounded grid uh, um, more of a, a high D key dead key not a swinging out I prefer modulators myself but anyway that's it I don't know if this is homemade or some name guy made it or what but a um, little 426 GK6 amp that's it for today bye